Hi, welcome, welcome back if you're new. My name is Bella and I'm super excited to do a what's in my makeup bag video. So I'm just gonna get right into it. My makeup bag is from Rare Beauty and I'm just gonna start in this top pocket here. This is where I keep all the makeup I use regularly. So right on the top is the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and it's definitely one that like makes my makeup last through like school era. I tried another one and I couldn't figure out why at the end of the day it looked like I had no makeup on it. It's because I wasn't using this so it's definitely my favorite setting spray. Next I've been on a mascara hunt lately. Right now I'm using the Sky High. Um, it's working for now. It's definitely not my favorite. My favorite is... My favorite mascara is the Essence Lash Princess, the waterproof one, but it's so hard to get off that I don't use it all the time. So right now, I'm just trying this one out. Another mascara I have is one someone I saw use online and she loved it. It's the Catrice Glam Doll False Lashes. It's also waterproof and it's like more lengthening and less voluming. And then I have two products I use for my base. Either I just go straight in with concealer or I use the Say Super Glowy Gel in the shade Star Glow. Or for my like foundation, I use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter in the shade 2. If I'm gonna like do like foundation, this is what I use. And then my favorite bronzers are the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick in the shade True Warmth or the Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer 666. Seven, six, I believe. And then for blush, I have two in this top compartment. I have the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Bliss and the Milk blush in the shade Work, and they're pretty much the same color, just two different brands. And then for highlighter, I again have been, I like the Rare Beauty one, but it kept shattering, so I went back to the Koki by Benefit, and I really like it. Another mascara is the Glossier Lash Slick. I have a new one coming in the mail. This one's super dry and I wanted to know if it was just this specific bottle or if it's like the mascara as a whole because it was super dry. Then I have the Milk Makeup Highlighter Stick in the shade Lit and it's just, it's super natural and beautiful but I like a super bright like nose highlight so that's why I use the cookie one. I have two little, a couple little like samples in here. Some of these I got in my advent calendar this year and some of them I got like from Sephora. I have the Glow Recipe uh, Watermelon Juice Moisturizer Sample. I have the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm um, that I haven't tried yet, but I keep it in here like in case I need to take my makeup off somewhere. I have two primers. I have the Smashbox Photo Finish and just a little one which I haven't tried yet and then I haven't used this bottle specifically but I have tried the e.l.f. power grip primer before but this is just a little one and then I'm really excited to try this I don't really use loose setting powder but this is the Laura Mercier setting powder and translucent and obviously like I've been on YouTube for so long like watching videos and that was like everything like in 2018 so I'm excited to try it here's the powder I actually use it's the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder in shade 1 fair and then I have the big, I had the big size of the NARS concealer and it broke. And so I've been using the mini one and I have the big one for when this one goes empty, but I'm just using the little one first. And it's in the shade light to vanilla. And then I have a couple last little things. I have the Glossier Brow in the shade brown. And then I have, this is another sample I got in my advent calendar. It's the NYX setting spray. And this one was nice, but it, again, it didn't last super well throughout the day. I have a couple lip balms. I have the Glossier in the hot cocoa, as well as the berry. And this tastes something like my child, and I can't figure it out. Maybe like a fruit roll-up or something that tastes super yummy. And then I have the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the shade vanilla beige and then the road peptide lip treatment just in the clear one with no flavor and that was everything in the top of my bag and i keep my i like to keep my powders in here because this is like a puffer jacket and it like keeps them safe so in the bottom i have makeup i don't use as frequently i also have my brushes down here so it looks like that and i'll just start with my brushes i just recently got this dibs 
brush. It's like a bronzer and a blush side or like a powder and a cream side. And then the brushes that I've used forever for blush, I used the Morphe M439. It's like a foundation brush. And for bronzer, I use the Say brush. I think it's their foundation brush. And then when I use my powder bronzer, I just use this one from Target. And then my beauty blender is also from Target. And I just have a couple more things done here. I have some lip products. I think that's it. I have the Glossier, the matte liquid lipstick, the lipstick, and the like Ultra Lip, which is the like glossy lip balm, all in the shade Cranberry. I got them as a set for my birthday. I have just an Aquaphor down here. This is a super good, like, thick moisturizer. It's a French brand. I got it from Amazon. This is just the little bottle that I'll use if I forgot to moisturize. It's called the Light Cream Concentre. I have the Tarte Shape Tape Radiant Concealer, just as, like, a backup concealer in the shade 16N. I have another Glossier Brow, just in the clear one. I have... Uh, Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in the shade Foxy Brown. My favorite lips lip liner is the Makeup Forever one in the brown color they have, but the lid fell out somewhere, so I can't keep it in my bag anymore because I don't want to like smear. And then I have the Dibs, the regular like blush and bronzer stick in the shade three, and then the glowy one in the shade Starlet. I have, this was the highlighter I was using before I went back to the cookie one. It's the Fenty and the like pink one. It's called What a Brat. And then I have two last things, the Tarte Man Eater Blush in the shade Strawberry, which I use in the summer because it's like, a nat like I'm a redhead and that's like the natural shade my face goes in the summer. And then lastly, I have the Makeup by Mario Bronzer in the shade Light and it looks like this. And I also use this as like a eyeshadow when I'm doing a little bit on my eyes. That was everything I have. This bag is always super packed full and I really love this bag. And I'm just super excited to show you what was in my makeup bag. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.